having you both is like double whammy. Yes, that's our goal is to we're trying to We're trying to pack a punch. We yeah. figure together. Yeah. Double whammy. The film is brilliant. The predicament is there's a young girl. The world is her oyster. Mm -hmm. And then she wants to marry this very hot boat boy. What would you do in real life? Julia first, because mm. your children are closer to that age. Mm -hmm. What would I do? I think I would assess it. Assess I would it. stop it. Let's stop. See, I'm with you, George. I'd yeah. be like, no, this can't happen. But you have no. to see what you're no. stopping. Yeah. Still, first. you just gotta stop it. How but if you she... raised your children to be good and true and and strong of heart, who would do that? Then, <laughs> then you have to go see what they think is so correct for themselves before you decide it is incorrect. Uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd be with me, George. I'm on your side. Now. Yeah, we'd be like, no, this isn't happening. I'll, st I'll sabotage it. Listen. I'll do everything I can. Let's talk game plan. As much as this will pain us both, we have to call a truce to make this work. It's going to be a lockstep. No meanness. We'll arguing. We speak as one. Exactly right. When do we start? Right after we see Lily. The reality is, you know, the film is about children leaving the nest, isn't it? And mm. having to let go. How do you think you'll approach it, George? Your children are younger. Yes. They're five, like my eldest, when it comes to Well, it should be easy point. since I'm 61. By the time they leave the nest, I'll be in diapers and a walker. <laughs> no, he's I'll be not. like, I'll, I won't even know they left them now. I'll be like, <laughs> what happened? Where? Where? Get ready. So there's this scene in the film, mm. which I loved. I mean, your characters, the parents, are out with the children, and you're having a few drinks. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's a drinking game. Mm -hmm. People are looking! <laughs> oh. Dad! Dad, stop doing that! Oh my god, everybody's looking. Call it off, call it off right now. Please, call it off. In real life, who would be better in a drinking game? Oh, good God, George. Of I'm a course. professional. I'm well, Irish. What do you think this is? Do you think Tequila. that's water? <laughs> that ain't water, I'll tell you that. Dinosaur moon. I am praying yeah. for an asteroid. You had to bubble for the film because of the pandemic, etc. I know you had your family there, George. Yes. Was it hard for you, Julia, not having your family with you? Did you get into a bit of a routine together, you know, because you know each other well? Look, Was it... you don't even let her answer. Let me just explain oh, gosh. this to you. Go on. I'm the fifth clinic. I can't get Great. rid of it. I have been I... legally adopted. Fortunately, <sighs> his wife is a lawyer and she was able to drop the papers rather quickly. can't get her out of the house. <laughs> Every day. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, guys. Hi. It's me. Hi. What's like, breakfast? Uh, uh, it's a disaster. <laughs> George is like, kids, I think you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun, actually. We were out on an island, a little tiny island that only really has golf carts around it. And so we'd finish like around five or six o'clock mm -hmm. and uh, Julia would come over and we'd, Amal and I would pile all the kids into the golf cart and we'd all go get ice cream every night. And it was really fun. And Julia always uh, made me get her ice cream too, which was <laughs> Peppermint. Please, George. Yeah, peppermint, yeah. not mint choc chip. Do you have peppermint? That's my favorite. Oh, mint choc chip. That's... Can't go wrong. I mean, you don't mess with that. It is filmed in a beautiful location. It's always nice, isn't it, to watch a film that just looks lovely mm. and nice to watch and takes you away and is something we all need right now. Yes. Where is your paradise? Mine would be at home on a Sunday afternoon with the kids mm. watching a movie. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. We'll come over. Come, uh, listen, sounds great. Mine come would be over. exactly the opposite. <laughs> Away from the children. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know. You know, there's so many places in the world with your family. As long as you're with your Together. family, yeah, yeah, it's pretty great. And our audience always love to know what are the things you love about the UK. I have some very good friends that live here and my girlfriend other than you second to the colonies we have a place about yeah. an hour outside here in sonning and uh so the next door there's a the mill theater and i get to go next door and watch uh, a play about once every two months there that's literally we open the door and you walk across an alley and you're in the theater so we really have fun there's a wonderful little restaurant called the french horn down the street we walk to and you know, we have a really nice little world right there that's very uh, uh, private and very quaint and really the people are lovely. So 
I love it. I want to do that with you guys. You guys have talked about that. I'm telling you, we can't get rid of her. I can't get rid of her. The paperwork now says you can't get rid of me. Oh, man, she just keeps showing up. Yeah. And any plans to work together again after this? No, you're done. We're just trying to survive the press tour. (laughs) (laughs) No, we've worked together a lot. And, you know, we're really lucky. We're, We're... you know, in a position in our careers where we still have careers, which, you know, doesn't always work out. And uh, every few years we get to find each other. And it's fun that we get to show up every once in a while and go, okay, let's go do this. Yeah, we'll work together again, I think, don't you? I we'll do. find something else. I do. It's been really nice to it's meet nice you both. To meet you. Thank you.